Hey there, it's Riz and I welcome you again to this channel. Today I am making a video to uh, give tips for 24 year old young adults if I may say. In a few days time, I'll be turning 25 already and I guess it's the best time to share you guys the things I have learned for the past year. This one I'll be turning 25 and I couldn't waste time and miss the opportunity to uh, teach the younger ones this lessons that I've learned all throughout the year. First step or first lesson is gonna be you do you. You don't have to subscribe to what's the trend or you don't have to be pressured with what your peers or your batchmates are into right now kung ano yung mga bagay na meron sila, ano yung mga hilig na meron sila. You have to remember that no one could really tell what's best for you until you do your research o pakinggan mo yung sarili mo. Just don't be pressured kung ano yung ginagawa nila. It doesn't really mean that it fits you. Just do what you think is best for you. You do you. Yung Bisaya, um, walay magbuot. <laughs> Next is to make your priorities clear. So at this point of time, you might be able to find yourself comparing yourself to others. Just that it's a matter of um, how do you set yourself apart from them. At this point of time, at the young time, na people might exploit you when it comes to time, even resources, services, etc. Pero kapag uh, alam mo na kaniyang yung priorities mo, may be your family, may be your health. May it be um, your peace. Malalaman mo kung ano yung uunahin mo at yung ipaprioritize mo. Especially when it comes to your schedule. Kung lagi-lagi, pipiliin mo dapat yung kung ano yung bibigay sa'yo ng uh, peace of mind. So, make your priorities clear to people. Communicate those priorities to uh, those people na... Um, priority mo yung family mo, priority mo yung self mo. So this time around, you can't go to this meeting or you can't go to this activity. Yeah, next is live a balanced life. This all boils down with the goal that you have to preserve your peace. If you have a balanced life, you would definitely know that you have a healthy uh, mind. You have a healthy body. Like you listen to yourself and you listen to your body. So I guess that's what a balanced life is. It's not all about work. Also, you gotta explore more about your hobbies. If you have past hobbies, no? spend more time on that. That way you'd be able to, again, um, find this tuning within yourself. Of course, to prevent um, the instances where you find yourself very sad or very exhausted or to the point na you are no longer yourself. So go back to those hobbies, um, take them again. If you don't have one, um, discover a lot of hobbies, try a lot of things. Next is, in relation to that, is invest on your body. Huwag mong isipin na mahal ang gym subscription or huwag mong um, sabihin na busy ka and you can't run in the morning or you can't run in the afternoon or in the evening because really if you want to be intentional in investing in your body, there's not enough reason for you to excuse yourself from exercising. Not necessarily the heavy types of exercises. You could walk, you could run, you could swim. These things are pretty simple for anyone. All you have to do is to invest even 30, 40, 50 minutes, one hour even. That's already uh, a good start. So invest in your body, even um, eat good food as much as possible. Do not subscribe to uh, the things that could harm you, especially drinking a lot, smoking, and um, not sleeping. Fifth one is to uh, invest your money in the proper venue. So given that, um, a lot of people are into investing right now, but um, what sets you apart from them is that you gotta know, you gotta research on what proper venues fits you. Kasi kung ano man yung mga bagay na nag-work sa kanila, it doesn't necessarily mean that it could work on your situation. It fits you or it fits your budget or it fits your circumstance right now, kung ano yung schedule mo, etc. As much as possible, research on it first before putting your money on it. Kasi minsan kasi ang iba, di perket, um people say uh, to you that this is a good investment or whatsoever, it does not necessarily mean that it's best for you or it fits you right now. So for me personally, um, I invest my money on a small business, it's a home-based business. Another um, form of investment that I do is I have an MP2. 
yeah, if it's just you, then you could do that too. And also, I am a part of a cooperative. These are not really big investments, but it's a good start for a 24-year-old um, kid. 24-year-old <laughs> um, young adult like me. The next tip, I guess this is the sixth, sixth one. And this is to don't deprive yourself. So in relation to what I said kanina, yes, invest your money but not to the point where you are already depriving yourself. To the point na hindi ka na kumakain ng maayos, hindi mo na um, na-feed yung cravings mo. Para saan pa ba yung nagtatrabaho tayo? Para saan pa yung nag-earn tayo ng money or etc. Siyempre, para din yun sa atin and for us to try to address kung ano yung mga bagay na nung bata tayo na deprived tayo. Maybe for food, um, for hobbies, um, travel or whatnot. Lastly is to invest in your education of course. At this point of time, well, um, alam niyo naman na graduate na kayo or whatnot. But if you wanna do further studies, it's like masters, um, doc, doctorate, or whatnot, or even just uh, training yourself, madami naman platforms that could train you online. Watch you YouTube, though it's not the best platform to learn a very um, technical skills, no? Iba pa rin yung may mentor ka. Also, uh, me, what I do is that I explore other skills that I might be able to do in the future. Just um, this weekend, I started getting this training called Mastermind. It's all about um, VAs, virtual assistant, building your band, uh, starting your own company. Basically, just um, trying to improve yourself and utilizing what you have and um, make people pay for what you could offer them. I am back in law school and for me it's really um, a good investment that um, I could link it uh, to my work right now. I work in a legal department of an insurance corporation so there's a symbiotic relationship between um, law school right now and my work. Hopefully in the future um, I'd still be able to continue this if not I'd be, I'd still be able to explore other modes of learning and other um, venues of improving myself when it comes to knowledge, skill sets. If you like this video and you think someone uh, needs uh, these tips, feel free to share this to them. I don't have the monopoly of ideas here, so if you have comments, you have suggestions, just put them on the comment section below and I'd be very willing to converse with you guys. I'd be very willing to uh, entertain a lot of um, suggestions and maybe um, next time we could talk more about that on a different platform or a different video. I hope that everyone has a balanced life today. If you don't have that yet, work on it. Try your best to have that kind of life that you envision to have in the future. That's it. God bless everyone. Stay safe, be healthy, and be happy. This has been Riz praying with you for blessings and peace. God bless.